Hi, this is Paul. For some reason, my cell phone coverage has gone way downhill. And according to AT&T, I now need to use Wi-Fi calling when I'm indoors to ensure I receive and can make calls. Unfortunately, I don't get Wi-Fi coverage throughout my entire home with this old D-Link router and wireless system. So it's time to upgrade my network and in typical fashion, I'm going to use this opportunity to go way overboard and replace it with a rack-mounted Ubiquiti Unify system. I'm also going to use this opportunity to hook up the Cat5 connections that came with the house and are in every room. Here's the diagram of what I plan to set up. To handle all the access points I have, I got a 16 PoE switch. And to get full inside and outside coverage of my property, I got three wireless access points. To connect it to the outside world, I'm using the Unify Security Gateway, which provides routing and security for the network. While not required, I also decided to get the cloud key, which securely runs a local instance of the controller software. To house the networking equipment, I purchased a 15U 28 inch deep rack. While it's overkill for just networking equipment, it gives me the ability to add a server, NAS, and other potential equipment in the future. Basically, it was the biggest rack I felt comfortable that would fit into the space I have. I added a top so I had a place to put tools and terminal if necessary. The shelf was added to hold the cloud key and the security gateway. I set up all the software outside the closet where it's going to be permanently installed because, well, there's just a lot more room available and it was a more pleasant environment to work in. At this point, I also added an eight port switch, which I'm placing in my living room to handle the additional connections I need there. There are some pretty good YouTube videos out there showing you how to install the software, which are made by pros that do it all the time. So I'm not going to go into it in this video. The builder of my house put the access panel in the master bedroom closet, and it would have been just too much work to move it. So that's where I'm going to put all of the equipment and the rack. This shows it fully installed and working. Here are the three wireless access points. The top left is on top of my TV cabinet in the living room. The bottom left is attached to the ceiling in a spare bedroom. And the third is occupying a Cat5 outlet in a different spare bedroom. While installing the software, the only issue I ran into was I kept getting these offline errors, even though the system was working. I called Ubiquity and they weren't able to help me at all. Finally, by chance, I decided to delete the demo network that came pre-installed by clicking on the forget icon on the right and it fixed it. You can see the network is now green and online. Then I cleaned it up by deleting the other two instances that I installed while trying to figure out what was causing the problem. I was surprised that none of the videos I watched on loading the software told the viewers to delete the demo network software, but all had done it at some point in time. I guess they just edited it out. In summary, it has fully met my expectations and I have seamless coverage of my entire property. I'm glad I purchased it and I would recommend it to others. Thanks for watching.